The Lord placed a calling on the hearts of the brave airmen of World War II, and the country of Sudan was the first place MAF started flying. Many generations later, we're still serving in South Sudan. Its people have seen some amazing changes, but also need our prayers more than ever. Stuart was there when MAF first took up God's calling to serve. For me, God's call was persistent and clear because our 1948 aerial survey of Africa had shown us that the isolated missionaries in the South Sudan were in very urgent need and they needed the very kind of air service that God had showed us that we should be offering. We faced many of problems in setting up that air service but God led us and gave us the persistence to keep going, whatever the problems. Looking back, I see how it was God's true calling and true kind timing. There have been enormous changes since way back then when we started. When we started, I believe there were only some 5% who called themselves Christians. Today, it's an amazing 58%. Today, however, I feel rather sad, and many others do too, to see the country in turmoil. Age-old inter-tribal fighting has broken out again, and MAF, I know, is needed more than ever to help the many aid agencies working there in the South. So we need to be praying. We need to pray for peace, real peace there. Pray too that Christians will grow spiritually and be strong in their faith and help in the reconciliation that is needed. And pray that all our MAF staff there, amidst the pressures and dangers, will be kept safe and close to God. God is a God of miracles. He's done them in the past. Let's pray he will keep on doing them. I love Isaiah 25 verse 1. It says, Lord, you are my God. I will exhort you and praise your name. For in perfect faithfulness, you have done wonderful things. Lord, keep on doing those wonderful things in the South Sudan. <laughs>